Yes, sir. Okay, good. The, uh, the, the other thing was, I, I don't know if this could help, but I know that in some user communities, if you have if you have a limit, uh, you helped us with limited resources, and let's say there's a problem that occurs, and it affects 100 people. You have 100 people trying to call the help desk, and it might be for the exact same reason. And in many other places, they have a searchable knowledge database, so that you could you could type in. It would have to be easy to use, of course. <laughs> but you would type in some keywords, and if that problem was a very first of all, if it was a very recent problem, it would be highlighted the first time you get to that page. So, so you don't even have to search for it because you know it's it's the it's the most critical problem at, the, at this at this moment. So then, so you would just go to a web. There would be a website on say service, and you could go right to that, and somebody would just post it right there and say this is the current status of the system. Sure. And you could. Say it's Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. We would all be friends. I don't want to be unfriended. <laughs> That's a very typical or common first-time user issue. They could type it in, and it would search up, and it would search through the knowledge database, and they could find a question that was already asked by 100 other people, and that would take the burden off of the help desk. They're not answering the same question over and over again and focus on the real, new, exciting problems. <laughs> Mark is going to, uh, we think those uh, those suggestions sounds very good to me. We need to do a little investigation, but I, I you know, Facebook is the modern technology for communicating among entities, so I, that, that, that sounds very intriguing. <laughs> I think I better. I'll come over here. And get the... <laughs> so, if I could answer this question a little further, do you all know we have a bowl in here? That's what I was going to say. It's not been updated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we got that in the first meeting that we were in. Is it should be being updated? When I leave here, you're going to have my email address. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> but I will give it to you. I want to know if that's the... I, I, I love your Facebook idea. I'm glad I took that. Uh, but I want... The bulletin board at the minute should tell you what is going on with the system at any given time. If it's down, it should say it's down. If we have a future outage, which I just read about, we're going to uh, update some firmware. It should say that. <laughs> I'm also trying to get it done off hours, but sometimes vendors are harder to get. So I'll try to get it done off hours, but that's the, those things you should be notified against. Again, with us setting up a, thank you. With us setting up a, with us setting up a, a, a working group with this team that we could broadcast, friends, whatever, I think that's a great idea. Just don't unfriend us. <laughs> I had a question kind of dovetailing on with, with uh, Teddy. <clears throat> well, kind of like with your, your separate boxes you've got for integrity, you've got a separate box for aggregation. Can we anticipate now that some of our SACE files will stop getting hung up for four days, mm -hmm. that some of our SACE files will not come back with hundreds of SACE internal errors, mm -hmm. retry your transaction? I mean, if we're getting these other processes off, can we look to maybe having our files process better? I, I wish now. Now you're you're going into a pool. Let me have that. <laughs> I can't answer that question without specific an example. What I'd like to do is, when you have that example, because that's that would be a ticket that I need. This is when I said there's 300 open tickets. Oh yeah. I'm wondering if that's one of those that we're working on to fix. No, mine was one of the that never got called in. Because <laughs> you got tired of waiting. Yeah. Look at February first. Uh, the system just timed out basically. I think that's what well, I do know that happened, right. and that was because of the throughput. We had too many people putting in at one time, and it just stopped. This is this is part of the this some of this stuff until I get the new hardware. 
and have the ability to process more millions of records faster. Because right now I have a little tiny mouse that's starving to death on the cage. <laughs> I, I, I need to have a, you know, a full throttle engine running. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to fix that because of how bad this platform is. I told you the SAIS is on warts on a single tower. It's not, it's not perfect, but I want to slow those down and this new hardware is what we're going to shoot for. Can we make sure then the different business areas within ADE who have deadlines for us are aware that these things are happening so that if our data is not there, such as my McKinney Vento kids that all got kicked out in the last submission. All of them gave me safe internal errors. So if they go, if Mr. Magali goes to full data, he's not going to find anything. Even though I've got close so to that's internal orders. communication we're going to work on. That's an example. But this has been going on forever, right? For the last several years. Um, yeah. 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 For me, yeah. no, it hasn't been. Well, I'm sure. I've been been knock on wood very lucky. You've been lucky. I've been lucky. I would say, you know, if you want to stand in line, think of this as a, a single line queue to go to a very popular movie. Think of it as lunchtime, we all lined up for lunch. So you want to be first. <laughs> you don't want to be in the middle or last <laughs> until we fix the platform. Yeah. Well, and also that opens up to me some more complex cooperation by which if you, you know, it's like some places you go and you get a ticket, so you're in the queue and you get a ticket and you come by, so I don't know if there's possible if we can somehow signal SACE overloading with the SACE Facebook or something that so that people know, okay, take a queue. If you're from this to this, wait just a little bit of time because it's like going on a freeway. If you get it a little bit paced, the freeway will keep going fast and everybody can get on, um, whereas if it just jams down. So maybe we can get some more, and I think that we might have to have a meeting or two more so we can start to develop some more complex ideas as to how, if we get the right kind of cooperation, I think this can all get done even with our limited platform. Good morning. Thank you for coming, first of all. Um, oh, you're welcome. Thank you for putting up with us. <laughs> Two quick questions. One, do you know when SACE will have posted the Ames fall scores so that transfer students, we could know what their fall scores were? And the second one, is there a proposition right now to start training any new people that are going to be new to using SACE? They had a wonderful training program a couple of years ago. And so I'm hoping that, again, that training will start. That was the star program. Yeah. yeah, it's and now I'm going to call on all of you a little bit. We're all we're all in this sort of together. I mean, in it's in the past it's been you versus us. We put a hermetic seal around us. We're going to come out here a lot, and but but it, so. Maybe you all can help with this. You have, there's a lot of people here with very sophisticated SACE users. Maybe you can pitch in a little bit of time to train some people. Maybe we can get a SACE training group going. We're going to have to think about this in a more complex fashion. They, I don't, I'm not getting a sense that any money is coming in anywhere fast to, to rescue me out of my out of my problems. So it's us and, and the Alps, and it's the middle of winter, and we're going over. So one way or another. Um, but we, so we're going to be, so be thinking about some more complex things that we can put in place to resolve these issues. The, the other question, there was a very specific question. Yusuf, do you?
and if we wanted our test score earlier, we would go to Pearson, but that would be our own test score and not interrupt us with so, okay, uh, we just need to find out why the yeah. And I think Yusuf is out making a call right yeah. now. To are the A's, um, A's cores are not in the space. They're in the A's of ours. Yeah. They're not there. They're not there. Yeah. Not yet. So they're a separate application um, come along. So they are there. Are they on the space? Once you get the once you have a for that, we'll get more. Once you own that student, cool. say it, you should be able to go into the download page and print out their, oh. their score. And we, there, we're not getting any false scores right now. So it's the transfer kids. I have my kids that took it at my school. I know their scores. It's the students that have transferred to me since then. I don't have their scores on, and I really need to know. Because testing is in eight months. Month. Right, so Yusef, just Yusef, just put a call in, and we're waiting for a call back. to. I just wanted to add to that um, when we were talking about you know communications with with um, submission snail, that that keys right to our auditors as well. Um, the auditors, when we have a submission that fails, if we don't get notification of that immediately, and we're running right along that 20-day mark of submissions that's required by statute. Um, if we don't get that information and get that sent out, we don't have an audit finding. Um, auditors say that a failed submission is not counted towards a submission that we attempted in our 20 days. So we can get an audit finding if, if we don't get that information um, But the other thing I'll, maybe okay. I wanted to say was you have a mic? the IT department uh, You can just use the mic right there. Week, use that really mic right there. Yes. Um, I, I don't know how everybody else feels, but I think it's it's difficult when we have school finance has your due dates report, we have a SAIS calendar, we have an IT bulletin board. Um, the SAIS calendar is never up to date, it seems like. Um, but if we have all these different places that we have to go to if we want to get information, um, and every department's putting out their own thing, and I'm wondering if there's a way to have a calendar or a bulletin board that every department is post to, and that way, not only, not only we would have one source to go to, but the departments within the state would be able to see, oh, okay, IT's doing this, so maybe we can't have this deadline, or whatever, you know, just have a, a single place. Let me, uh... Superintendent, this is, this is right along the line with your new website initiative that we are currently undertaking. Uh, we, are, we are working with a partner to uh, develop requirements throughout the whole department. The initial, and what you just suggested is good, that's what we want to There's a single web, uh, a web calendar that everything's there. Might be pretty busy. You know, if you go to one day, it might have 500 things on it, but we'll try to make it more visible. Maybe that also shows that maybe we're too busy. Uh, and what we need to do as part of that, again, uh, we could use this group as a forum to test because we're looking for a focus group to, to initially put our website out to in order for that focus group to say, well, that really is good, or that really, you missed the target. And uh, so that is part of our plan. But I, I agree with you that I have, looking at our website, I don't know how you find anything on that. <laughs> And we're, that's another one of the projects we're, we're working on. And I, what I can visualize too is my, the other top managers within the department, I'd like to rerun this meeting at some new date and have them stand right here because they're up there and they're interacting with a few people and they can get a little bubble around them and they, they're doing their little mission, they're in their silo. And to break that out, there's nothing like standing in front of 500 people. And, you know, <laughs> sends a powerful message so to change their, get them to think, well, geez, I'm a part of a larger system. And, and I, when I go out to them, as they do their mission, they're under a, a lot of stress. You know, as I, you know, when I was in college, I was a part of this construction project and they were using a steel crane to pick up a big heavy load and I was standing there looking at the, uh, at the steel wire and all of a sudden, twang, one of the little strands broke and I realized they were about to dump this huge load and kill some people. So, but when I was talking to one of my other managers, I hear this little 
you know, they're under a lot of, the people in that department, like you all, everybody in the system is under a lot of stress. If we can get to a high level of cooperation, we can actually, with the existing resources, 